victims of U.S. gun violence pay a high price, and it is not just their health. A new study has found survivors of shootings, on average, rack up charges of $5,254. €4,468 for their emergency medical care. It was published just hours after gunman Stephen Paddock slayed 58 people at a country music festival in Las Vegas. The massacre also saw more than 500 people injured, although it is unclear how many suffered gunshot wounds. It is this somewhat forgotten group, those injured by guns, that the study looked at over an eight year period. From 2006 to 2014. The research, published in the journal Health Affairs, found that more than 100,000 people are shot in the United States each year, at a cost of $2.8 billion, 2.38 billion euros. Patients are left with charges of up to $5,254, 4,468 euros, for emergency care, on average. But the bills rocket if they need to stay overnight, to $95,887, €81,457. Paula Bautista, 39, from Fontana, California, sits in her hospital bed after being shot at the Route 91 Music Festival in Las Vegas. Who ends up footing the bill for U.S. gun violence? Another study, published earlier this year, found individuals paid 29.4% of the hospital costs of gun violence. Private health insurance covered 21.4% while government insurance, either Medicare or Medicaid, picked up 40.8% but sometimes it's charity. In the aftermath of the Las Vegas attack, a crowdfunding page was created to raise money for the victims. It had amassed $9.1 million. 7.7 .7 meters euros, at the time of writing, although it is unclear how much of this will go to pay victims' medical bills. How could Trump's proposed health care reforms impact on this? One of Donald Trump's key campaign pledges was to reform so called Obamacare, which extended health care to 20 million people. Trump argued the existing system gave patients less choice and higher premiums. His reforms, which have so far failed to make it through Congress, involve cuts to health care for the poor and allowing insurers to offer less coverage. The changes, said Faiz Ghani, one of the study's authors, could hit those who have been injured by U.S. gun violence. The new administration is yet to pass the legislature pertaining to health care, Ghani told Euronews.